there's a fungus called mycorrhizal fungus that wraps around the roots of most of the plants in your garden, sometimes even going inside the roots. And then, effectively, it extends the root system of that plant by hundreds of times. And then what they do is they bring nutrients to the plants, bring water, protect the plant roots from predators, even they invite other beneficial organisms into the root zone of these plants by feeding those organisms. And they also attach most of the plants in your garden together so those plants can share nutrients with each other. The reason they do all this is because the plants give them food in return. So plants photosynthesize, they create carbohydrates, and some plants will give more than 50% of their carbohydrates down into the root zone to feed these mycorrhizal fungi and other beneficial organisms. So like all of the microorganisms I talk about, they really should be in our gardens, but often they're deficient because in the past we've been tilling the garden, the soil has been compacted, perhaps waterlogged, if there's been any pesticide use or other chemical use, uh, for, if for some reason there's been a, a lack of plant cover for some time, there can be a lot of reasons why these, why these fungi are deficient. And so it makes sense to bring them in. So I bring them in every time I'm planting a plant, garlic, any sowing any seeds, planting trees. And what I do is I use a powder for that because it's very inexpensive, very high quality. It just makes things work really well. Uh, it's also theoretically possible to go into a natural ecosystem that's similar to the kind of ecosystem you're trying to create in your garden, grab just a little bit of soil from there and bring that and use that as your inoculant. But either way, we want to get these fungi back onto our plant roots so they can do all this good there.